Is your home Wi-Fi weak in rooms where you'd like to game online and stream in 4K? Does your home have Wi-Fi dead spots? What you need is the TP-Link AC2600 Wi-Fi Range Extender RE650. Set it up in no time. Just plug it in and the Intelligent Signal Indicator helps you find the perfect spot. Use a free tether app for easy control from your smartphone. Four external antennas deliver Wi-Fi that covers up to 14,000 square feet of your home. And Beamforming intelligently targets devices with stronger connections as they move between rooms and floors. At the heart of the RE650 is a powerful, intelligent processing engine, easily delivering super-fast Wi-Fi for 4K streaming and lag-free gaming. The home network needs to deliver high-speed Wi-Fi to everyone in the family. The MIMO technology brings speed and stability to more devices at the same time. 11AC Wave 2 Wi-Fi technology with 4Stream and 256Com expands overall capacity and lets everyone enjoy whatever they want, whenever they want. With the TP-Link AC2600 Wi-Fi Range Extender RE650, enjoy total Wi-Fi freedom in your home. Wi-Fi has become a necessity in our daily lives. But sometimes, you might have trouble with it. What about buying a new mesh set? You could, but that might be a little expensive. Why not go for a range extender then? Well, configuration will be complex for one thing, and the connection would still drop when you walk around your home. TP-Link One Mesh solves all your problems. Just update your existing TP-Link router's firmware to the One Mesh version. No need to replace it. Buy one or more One Mesh extenders, all at a low cost. Follow simple, in-app instructions to configure your One Mesh system in minutes. Now you'll enjoy non-stop mesh Wi-Fi and true seamless roaming in every corner of your home. One Mesh. Flexibly create a whole home Wi-Fi. MTX Tender Sitting Video Product Appearance Introduction Repeater Mode Sitting Plot the extender into an electrical outlet next to your router and then wait until the wireless LED changes to blinking. Connect your phone to the extender wirelessly. Use the default sheet printed on the label of the extender to join its Wi-Fi network. After the connection is successful, the phone will automatically jump to the login interface of the extender. Click the login button, select repeater mode. Select your host router as sheet, enter its password and click next. Click Next. Note down your extended network information and finish the step.
After the setting is complete, the repeater will appear to start. Extended network names, router's network name will exist at the end, password the same as your router. After the repeater is started successfully, verify whether the expanded network can access the Internet. Select the expanded network and enter the same password as the host. Relocate your extender to optimize Wi-Fi coverage and performance. The location you choose must be within the range of the host network. Netgear Wall Plug AC Wi-Fi Range Extenders are the easiest and fastest way to extend the range of your existing Wi-Fi. To begin, first unbox your extender. Then. Plug the extender into an electrical outlet. For a seamless installation, we recommend that you complete the basic setup in the same room as your current router. To determine if your router supports WPS setup, look for a WPS button on the front or back of the router. If your router does not support WPS, watch the range extender setup with Netgear installation assistant video. To set up with WPS, first press the WPS button on the extender. Then, press the WPS button on your Wi-Fi router. The WPS LED will light up solid green when you have established a good connection between your Wi-Fi router and your extender. If your Wi-Fi router supports the 5 GHz band and you want to extend this band, repeat the WPS process. Now, unplug the extender and move it to a new location that is about halfway between your router and the area with a poor Wi-Fi signal. The location that you choose must be within range of your existing Wi-Fi router network. Plug the extender into an electrical outlet and wait for the power LED to light green. Once powered on, use the router link LED to help you choose a location where the extender to router connection is optimal. If the router link LED lights amber or green, you found a good location for the extender. If the LED lights red, plug the extender into an outlet closer to the router and try again. Moving the extender closer to the router will improve the connection but will reduce your extender's coverage. Once you've found a good location for your extender, connect your client device using the new network name. The extender uses your existing Wi-Fi name and adds underscore 2G EXT or underscore 5G EXT at the end. When connecting, make sure to use the same Wi-Fi password as your router. If you're using a mobile device, Connect in the same room as the extender, and then move to the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. Once your devices are connected and placed in the dead zone, return to the extender and check the client link LED. If the client link LED is solid amber or green, your Wi-Fi network has been properly extended to the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal, and your network setup is complete. If you're unable to connect to your new Wi-Fi network from the dead zone, or the client link LED is red, the range extender is not reaching the area with a poor router Wi-Fi signal. If possible, move your client device closer to the extender until the client link LED turns solid green or amber. Depending on the distance from your router to the dead zone, your extender may not be able to provide all the range that you require. In this situation, we recommend considering other solutions, such as Powerline. Your AC Wi-Fi range extender is now set up and ready to go.